Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn conditional formatting, but this video would be for little bit advanced level. Okay, without delay, let's begin. So here I have created a data of a company, ABC Tech. In this, in the last three months, January, February and March, who all has joined the organization and which location they have joined. So everything that I have mentioned here in the table. So you can see, I'm just putting here a filter. I have four locations, Delhi, Mumbai, Noida and Pune. So this company is located in all these four locations. Okay. In conditional formatting, what I am going to do, I'll be creating select option. If you will select a particular option, that field will be highlighted in the table. Okay. Let's understand how I am going to do. So as I mentioned that this will be a little bit advanced level. Okay. So I'll be using this conditional formatting tab and also I'll be using developer tab. Okay. So I'll make your space here for shifting this road down. You can use a shortcut control shift and plus sign. Okay. So I have created enough space here and I will remove the grid line by clicking here in the corner. You can select the complete Excel sheet and go into view tab and uncheck grid line. So we have complete white space now here I'm going to create select option so in programming language basically we call it radio button so I'll be creating few radio buttons on the basis of location so once we will select any radio buttons so it will highlight the complete row now here I'll be using developer tab so if you don't have developer tab in your menu ribbon what you need to do you can click any menu right click here customize ribbon and you will be getting this developer option i have checked here so by default it will uncheck so you can check here and you can click okay it will be added here okay now click on ribbon tab insert option and in the form control you can select this radio button so here it is called as an option button so you need to select the option and then accordingly you can do the conditional formatting for that so i'll be using this for conditional formatting just click here i'm drawing here a radio button so let me check first in location we have four options delhi mumbai noida and pune okay so i need four radio buttons right click here and you can copy and paste or you can duplicate this so you can press ctrl d to duplicate this so I have two, three, four. Okay. Now select any radio button, right click, click on format control. So you will be having this format control tab here in the control section. You have to link the cell first. So here I'm giving a link of A1. Okay. And click OK. Here it is showing one because option button one is selected. Now you can see all the names are same as of now. Okay, because I have duplicated the option button. But this is one, two, three and four. Okay, so if I will select second, so it will show two. If I will select third, so it will show three. And if I will select four, so it will show four. Okay, now we'll rename this first. So double click here. So first I am giving noida second option we have mumbai so we have to rename this press control and then click on option button mumbai third delhi and fourth pune now we will align this so i'm putting here now select all go to save format and group all this Now for conditional formatting, you can convert this data into a table. First, press Ctrl A to select all the data and then Ctrl T. So here my table has header. So you can just check this and click OK to convert it. Now I will uncheck banded rows to make it complete white. Now I'm going to do the main part conditional formatting here. Once I will select any option. So as per the option, I will put certain colors that will highlight the complete row. OK, so first press Ctrl A to select the complete table. Okay. Now go to home tab, conditional formatting, new rules. 
so here i'll be formatting on the basis of formula okay i will use this option last option use a formula to determine which cell to format select this here i will write a formula okay so here we have two condition first condition is if i will select this option button so first condition that should match this noida location and this should match from this location noida okay so here in the e1 i have given the reference for all these four option button okay let me just close this first if i will select noida okay so i need to match one and then noida if both the conditions are true then it is going to highlight this complete row okay if i will select mumbai so i need to match two and mumbai then it will be highlighting this complete row so wherever the mumbai or noida is located okay so whatever the data will match both the conditions that row will be highlighted in the complete table now let's do it so first i will select complete table conditional formatting new rules use a formula to determine which cell to format here i will write is equal to and now here first condition is location so i'll click here e6 is equal to noida so i'll put into double inverted comma and then second option we have to validate for noida a1 is equal to 1 because noida is first option close the bracket here we need to check dollar e and dollar 6 dollar e that means the column e is fixed but if we will fix the row number in that case this will only match row 6 but we need to check in complete table so row will be changing for every data i'll remove dollar sign from here if both the condition will be true then we will format the cell here i will choose a fill color dark green and font color white and if you want you can make it bold or bold italic so i'm choosing bold click ok and then ok once i will select noida so you can see all noida locations has been highlighted now we need to set for all these three so what we need to do again we can select the table go into conditional formatting now we don't have to create new rule okay we will manage the rule okay so click here and manage rule again and again i am not going to write the formula okay so i will duplicate we have four options so i have duplicated it three more times one by one i will change so select here edit this rule second option we have mumbai and mumbai is at second position so we'll hit second now color for mumbai i will choose orange and text color would be same okay so here condition would be three location as delhi i will change the color for this i'll make it this color okay and the last option we have one it and this will be fourth option here i will choose a different color this color all these four colors i have selected click apply and then okay okay so this cell i'll format it there's no background color and text color also i'll make it white currently noida is selected if i'll select mumbai then it is highlighted by orange if i select delhi then it is purple so all these are highlighted if i will select pune so this is highlighted in all the pune locations okay i hope you understand how to use option button along with the conditional formatting now you need to understand like when we can use this suppose if you are working in any organization and uh, you don't want to filter out data as per the locations or like any conditions that you don't want to filter but you want to highlight the data and you want to see within the table now okay in that scenario you can use this option this will help you to identify like total how many data you have for a particular condition so these are the use cases basically so as per your use case like if you want to highlight within the data so you can use this technique of conditional formatting and if this video is informative for you so you can like the video you can share in your circle you can subscribe my channel so you will be aware about my upcoming videos i will see you in the next video thank you